Hi everyone, Arena 9 and thank you for joining us. CBS News has obtained the testimony from former top U.S. envoy to Ukraine. Kurt Volker spoke before three House committees yesterday. He handed over a number of text messages showing that he and others raised concerns about the Trump administration's approach to Ukraine. Volker resigned last week shortly after the impeachment inquiry was announced. House Democrats released those texts last night and they laid out a strategy used by the president's personal attorney Rudy Giuliani and American diplomats on how to coach Ukrainian officials to secure a meeting with President Trump as long as Ukraine promised to investigate the Biden family. CBS News Capitol Hill producer Rebecca Kaplan joins me now. So Rebecca, what did Volker say about his concerns for how U.S. diplomats approached Ukraine? So, Rena, what we heard from the testimony that Volker gave yesterday, what we read actually, is that he didn't necessarily get into all these conversations about what was happening with security assistance and shutting down concerns of Bill Taylor, the career diplomat there. His bigger concern that he talks about was that U.S. officials did not really have a confidence in the new Ukrainian administration and felt like they would be partners uh, in actually moving forward and developing a positive relationship with Ukraine. He actually speaks pretty positively of the other diplomats he interacted with and says he kept them apprised at all times of what he was doing. Uh, what he really wanted to do was to try to build a better relationship that's what he was telling Congress in his messages. And to that end, he did find himself working with the Ukrainian administration to craft these statements promising uh, to investigate any corruption. But in his mind, he said that was about t uh, tackling corruption because Ukraine has does not have a good history of taking on corruption. It was not actually, he says, about specifically looking into Biden, uh, the former vice president, and all these accusations about uh, a company that his son worked for. Uh, he says, Volker said in his testimony that he was not aware and did not participate in any of that uh, when in the course of these text messages in his discussions with both U.S. and Ukrainian officials. Rebecca, you know, Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal attorney, has factored big into this. Have we heard lear learned anything from Volker about that relationship? He does talk about a number of the conversations that he had with Giuliani, and one of the chief concerns that he said he raised with the president's personal attorney was the fact that he might be getting bad information from the Ukrainians he was talking to, uh, that the former prosecutor that originally Giuliani said was getting some of his information from was not a credible figure and actually might have been self-serving in perhaps making these accusations against Biden. Uh, so he talked about wanting to relay that information to Giuliani, telling him that. He also says when he spoke to President Trump, he tried to relay that the new administration in Ukraine was a much better partner and that he would be able to work with them, but found that the president was uh, distrustful and had, uh, in Volcker's mind, kind of an outdated view of the Ukrainian regime. Uh, and he thought that the president might be getting information from people like Giuliani who were more suspicious of the newer Ukrainian government. And did Volcker say there's any credibility to the allegations against Joe Biden? He doesn't believe there is. Uh, he says in this testimony that uh, not only, as I mentioned earlier, he did not play any part in trying to get the Ukrainians to investigate Biden, uh, but he says he found Biden to be a deeply honorable man who served his country and that he didn't think that there were any credence to these allegations, none of which had been proven that Biden tried to coerce the Ukrainian government to drop an investigation into Burisma, this company that uh, his son was on the board of. Now, Burisma did come up, we saw in these text messages, Volker had the, was working with the Ukrainian government to craft this statement about what they would do in terms of tackling corruption, and they do mention Burisma in that statement, and Volker was a part of that. He says that was merely about rooting out Ukrainian corruption in Burisma and not actually about uh, the Bidens. So this was his view of the situation. Obviously, he was coming in here trying to tell his story to Congress, and that is what he said to them uh, in addition to handing over that tranche of text messages you talked about earlier, which do raise some bigger concerns. Uh, there we saw the career diplomat Bill Taylor suggest that perhaps Perhaps aid was being held up to Ukraine uh, because Ukraine would not commit to investigating the Bidens and was that was actually going on. Those were conversations that were separate from Volcker, uh, and he doesn't actually talk about those conversations in his opening testimony. He says what he was trying to do was make sure that no Ukrainian assistance money was withheld uh, and that he all the time advocated for that to be released to the Ukrainians. CBS News Capitol Hill producer Rebecca Kaplan. Rebecca, thank you very much. Thank you.